Good morning, folks. It's a little after 6 a.m. on the trail. Top Rock is about 60 seconds behind me. Day 52, decision day. We'll get in close enough where we can pick up some cellular coverage and a little internet here later today and figure out whether we're, you know, which of those options I discussed yesterday we're gonna take. It's still pretty smoky out here. Again, beautiful orange moon all night. Lots of wind last night too. I was hoping maybe it'd clear things up kind of, but yeah, I think it just blows it around. Anyway, we are we are off. It's a little over 15 miles to get to the I-5. Back to the I-5, which of course you'll remember we crossed under when we started that Castle Craigs section. But after lots of looping around and, you know, a couple hundred miles, over a couple hundred miles, we're back. I'm not sure how far north it is from where we crossed under. It might only be about 40 miles north, but it was 200 miles of trail. Just to get some idea of why the trail in California was 1,700 miles long. Anyway, we'll see you up the trail. Hey folks, well you'll recall that I told you that today is decision day and uh, I think we've reached, hang on here, I gotta get over this. Ah. Okay, um, we reached the decision. The more data we pick up, we finally got where we got some cell coverage, pick up little bits and pieces of data, talk to some folks, made some phone calls and uh, you know, we're thinking we're gonna call it here as we approach Ashland. Probably Callahan's. Make that our last our last stop on the PCT for 2021. And I know some of you are disappointed. I gotta say I'm really not disappointed. Um, we've seen some amazing things, but you gotta remember why we came out here was to have fun and to have you know spectacular views and enjoy it. And right now. It's hazy, smoky, places it would be amazing, like Crater Lake would be, is a phenomenal place. I've been there when it's crystal clear, it's gorgeous. But when it's covered in smoke, it's just a big hole. Well, okay, that's a little understatement. But anyway, thinking the things we really want to do while we're out here, uh, between, it, it's just, it's not the fun that we were looking for. So we're gonna stop for this year in this uh, California. It's a great milestone. So, we're gonna live with that. Top Rock, anything else you wanna say? I think you covered it. <laughs> <laughs> also, we're right, at, we're right at that point, and this, this would not change our mind at all. It just happens to be happenstance. We're right at the point where we both need new shoes. Uh, Top Rock needs new socks. Actually, I put two holes in socks. Uh, we need other provisions. It's like, we're gonna go have to spend 600 bucks. <laughs> or more. <laughs> or more just to replenish all the stuff that we've worn out. Uh, so it's kind of like, well, maybe we should save that for another trip in another place. So I'll keep, I'll keep recording to, you know, tell you how this day works out and things. But as far as the decision, I think, I think we don't want to go to Canada and walk backwards. 
and Oregon is smoky everywhere and we don't know about Washington for sure but it's kind of like well it's it's kind of like doing pieces at the end without getting the middle in and that's not the completion Top Rock was looking for so anyway guys thanks for coming along in 2021 we'll see what other adventures hold out for the day come on up the trail Okay, well, folks, the mysterious, magical Mount Shasta should be visible right there. Except there's enough haze from the smoke that we don't think you can see it. We think you're seeing another, if you can even pull it out of the haze, we think you're seeing another mountain before it. And it would be above and behind it, which means... <laughs> it would be there following <laughs> also, us. <laughs> also means it would be there following us, but we, we might have... Used a smoke screen. Yeah, okay. We might have used a smoke screen yeah. to hide ourselves from the mysterious magical Mount Shasta. Yeah. All right, see you up the trail. Okay, folks, we have left. The PCT, the official PCT. We have taken the turn off to head over to Callahan's. Official PCT turn, PCT turns and heads towards I-5. We're gonna cross I-5 too, just a little farther north of where it does. But hey, that's it. We're off the PCT. But we're not done with the hike yet. This is the uh, hiker facility <laughs> at uh, the lodge currently. Wow. Okay, so we got a hiker box full of all sorts of stuff. A toilet, a sink, kitchen, soap, oh. Water all over the floor, don't know why. Shampoos and conditioners. Huh, I can see why the rooms are uh, 200 bucks a night. Anyway, I think I'm going to move someone's laundry over so there'll be room for laundry later. Quite the place here at uh, Gallagher. Okay, so here's the after status. Uh, Top Rock totally cleaned that toilet. It was trash, but it's really nice right now. Things are clean. The toilets, we put some towels down where the water was running. Uh, we cleaned up that entire top shelf. It was a total mess. We got it organized, not that it needed to be. Grabbed all sorts of extra soaps and old things that were in here that didn't need to be here. And also repaired the hot water so that uh, you actually can just turn it on and it works fine. Where before it was, you were supposed to pull out the knob and turn it, but you pull out the knob and it comes right off your hand. Anyway, that's the after, oh yeah, we also put the dirty things in the hamper and got rid of all the extra stuff. And yeah, we did, we did the housekeeping and maintenance for uh, this hiker facility. So anybody coming after us really ought to appreciate it. Okay, here we have the hikers spa, spa including, spa. including the traditional hikers breakdown of everything you need to do, but also the fountain. A water source. <laughs> a water so, source yeah. It's a water source, so. Make sure you filter. Yeah. There were filter dogs what? in it, filter it. Yeah. There were dogs. We'll and I, today. <laughs> actually, I think when they're not using this for hikers, this is the pet area. For, uh, cause I usually, have seen it apparently in dog traffic. And they seem to, yeah. Be very comfortable with it. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think the back is where the hikers usually go, except for when they're trying to make it green for a wedding. Yeah. True. We are not the best for making people green. Uh, what can I say? I don't know of anything. <laughs> hey, folks. We're wrapping it up for the day. It is uh, our Unless last. Unless there's dessert. Oh, I saw they had a pretty good dessert menu they in there. They had a dessert menu. The top three items 
pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> Might have to go back for dessert. We'll see. Otherwise, we're ending it for the day. Yeah, I'm definitely ending it for the day because I am stuffed after having an endless place of pasta, but you, I didn't even need that much. Two, you know, I did one and a half. One and a half. So, good place. We've enjoyed, we've enjoyed Callahan's. It's, uh, it's a nice place. And as you see, we have a nice little waterfall behind us here in our tent area with our, with our other campers. So we're all out here. Uh, this will be like our last night camping, I hope, because tomorrow we're going to, by the way, have to rent a U-Haul. No rental cars available. Can't be gotten for any price. Uh, airplane tickets, 1400 bucks if you want to fly to Medford to San Diego. Uh, plus, on, on plus a bus, plus on one day. Oh yeah, plus a bus to get to Medford, plus then, some way from San Diego to home. It's like, it's just insane. So we're gonna end up bringing a 20-foot U-Haul to carry two backpacks to drive to San Diego. These are crazy times in which we live with this results of COVID. Anyway, fair winds, happy trails. I'm sure I'll do a wrap-up video after I get to San Diego. Yeah, but all the statistics. Yeah, just let you know what happened. But that's it for this time. It's been fun having you along with us and stay tuned. We'll see you in a few days.